Hello, this is the daily encouragement message we prepared on a day that is projected to be very hot here in rural Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and really all over our country anyway. It's your message for Friday, June 21st, 2024. We are Stephen and Brooksine Weber. The goal is to encourage and provide Bible teaching in each of the messages that we prepare. Today we use the title, and as I read the title, consider where it might have come from. What needless pain we bear. Our Bible text is an interesting text, single text from Psalm 69, verse 29. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your salvation, O God, set me on high. Earlier this week, we shared a message about the beloved hymn written in 1855, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, focusing on the aspect in that message of Jesus being our friend, as stated in John 15, verse 15. I have called you friends, for everything that I learned from my Father, I have made known to you. When we sing an older song, due to its familiarity, we may take the lyrics for granted. Occasionally, we like to consider each phrase. This last Sunday, as we sang this verse, and the underlying, the underlying phrase struck us and has stayed with us since Sunday. So we, let me yeah, read it here, to you. Okay. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. And that line is, oh, what needless pain we bear. And thus, our title today. Since the fall, or the original sin, pain has been a normal part of the human condition. Immediately after the fall, God told Eve, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain, you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be contrary, contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. That's Genesis 3, verse 15. Then he told Adam, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. That's verse 17. Well, this is proving to be true for all of Adam and Eve's descendants. Childbirth is notoriously painful. And in one way or another, we all experience pain to various degrees all the days of our life. Many years ago, I read a book titled The Gift of Pain, which certainly brings an interesting perspective, but that's for another message. Pain can be physical or emotional. But in the original poem, Joseph Scriven uses the two words, needless pain. He wrote this poem and sent it to his mother, who was experiencing affliction of some sort. We tend to see this as applicable, though, to any sort of pain, but especially emotional pain, due to the line that precedes it, and I quote, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. After all, even when we take it to the Lord in prayer, we don't always find relief from physical pain, and some faithful Christians live with chronic pain. Dan Pesgrave writes, I quote, This phrase reminds us of the torment that results when we become victims of Satan's lies and deceptions. His sole purpose is to fan the flames of our human nature. And praises come to us. You don't need any help. You can be your own God. You can get all the glory. Does that sound familiar? (laughs) End his quote. That's why we must carry everything to God in prayer. Consider this illustration. I read this some time back and it has stayed with me. An instructor walked around a room while teaching stress management to an audience. As he raised a glass of water, everyone expected that they'd be asked the typical, is it half empty or half full question. But instead, with a smile on his face, he inquired, how heavy is this glass of water? Answers called out ranged from eight ounces to 20 ounces. He replied, the absolute weight does not matter. It depends on how long I hold it. If I hold it for a minute, it's not a problem. If I hold it for an hour, I'll have an ache in my arm. If I hold it for a day, 
My arm will feel numb and paralyzed in each case. The weight of the glass doesn't change, but the longer I hold it, the heavier it becomes. He continued, the stresses and worries in life are like that glass of water. Think about them for a while and nothing happens. Think about them a bit longer and they begin to hurt. And if you think about them all day long, you will feel paralyzed, incapable of doing anything. And quote. again, that's why we must carry everything to God in prayer. Today's Bible text is something that many of us can identify with. It begins, I am afflicted and in pain. Some of you can say that as you read this. The nature of the affliction and pain is not specified in the text. Of course, I can't remember when I first experienced pain, but my first specific memory of excruciating pain was when I broke my ankle playing football. I've had many times of pain since then, and listen, as you get older, you get new pains and <laughs> more pains. Of course, Brooksine's story is very similar. She also recalls the pain of a broken ankle. Sure do. But we've also known emotional pain in various ways, and that can be even harder to bear. The verse continues with this timeless appeal. Let your salvation, O God, set me on high. That should remain our prayer during times of affliction and pain all through life so that regardless of the pain we are enduring, we do not forfeit his peace and bear needless pain. Let's pray. Father, when we have trials and temptations or trouble anywhere, that can easily discourage us. You want us to go to you in prayer, to cast our every care on you because you care so deeply about us. We will never find a friend so faithful with whom we can share all our sorrows, nor will we find a non-judgmental friend who knows our every weakness and still listens, comforts, and shields us from the flaming arrows of Satan. Thank you for being our refuge, our strength, and our blessed Redeemer. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brooksine. We do have a couple of versions of what a friend we have in Jesus. Earlier this week, we shared a version from our church service on Sunday uh, with the choir. But uh, today we have a family, the Eldridge family, Brooksine came across. They're singing on their couch, and it really is pretty. As well as a redeemed quartet with another version. Fred sent me a song yesterday. It must be a pretty new song by C.C. Winans it's called Come Jesus Come there really blessed me, and you may want to listen to that. And finally today, the, we've been mentioning a concert in a neighborhood by the Bontrager family singers, and today we use another one of their songs that they've sung. I don't, they wouldn't have written it. We know it otherwise. It's called In Christ Alone. And we have some information about that concert if you would like to look at our site today. Well, thank you for joining us for our daily encouragement message, Friday, June 21st, 2024. Our website is dailyencouragement.net. Today's message, now you know what needless pain we bear.